And you're going to want to adjust your fields and all that fun stuff later. But for now, um, let's concentrate on getting them to fall at a more random interval. So, what we can do is back in our expression editor, uh, before we worry about the frame, or actually within it, because we never want anything to fall before that start frame, we can write another if statement within this. It says if the ID and then times point zero zero one because if you use a bigger number it's all gonna still basically fall at the same time if that value is less than frame that way we'll and then I'll crank up my gravity so it goes a little faster but you rewind everything stays there until frame 20 and they still all fall at the same time so we can go in and adjust our expression and say maybe make this a little bit bigger number um, played with the numbers so if it was actually a little bit bigger bigger number so if we rewind and play you can see that some of them start to fall before others And if you wait long enough, eventually, there, if you look at the expression, eventually the ID times point 0.1 will eventually be less than or equal to whatever the frame is. So eventually they'll all fall off. If you want them to fall more rapidly, you just make this number smaller. If you want them to take longer for all the leaves to fall, you make this number bigger. So like. 0.5 or something.